uh, hi everyone so next thing we are talking about is how can you render the static content which is like images and all from Next.js so for that we can use this public folder so inside pages we will have one public folder and inside that you can put all your images and all and in your JSX like I have one component which is image which is in the pages okay there I can just simply uh, provide the path okay my image.png so when you put forward slash then it will start looking it inside a public folder and uh, you should have this particular image file in the public folder to make it compile okay so the public folder can be used to just serve the static content either it can be image font file font CSS and all the other things okay now uh, how we can manage the environment variables uh, in our application for that I mean from the Nesjs documentation you can just have env.local and in this you can provide all your environment variables uh, next JS will load your environment variable from this file okay db user host and password if you want a specific environment variables which you wanted to use uh, for the client side then you just need to rename it with uh, next public so that means this particular variable will be available in the window object at the client side and once you set these environment variables you can actually access that inside a component like in image.js this is not the particular suitable example but get static props here you can connect to the database here we are passing all these environment variables okay now next thing which we will start talking about is routing so we have covered very basic things about Next.js is because Next.js is a framework and it is talking all about how we design pages how we do data fetching how we are supporting CSS how the static files are getting served and how we are managing environment variables and then routing dynamic routing nested routing right API routes and some of the advanced features in the advanced features is you can actually customize all these things app pages you can create custom layout which will contain your base layout okay inside that you will keep rendering your child routes you can actually customize the document page underscore document and then you can actually add a custom meta tags which is available throughout all the pages then you can add that inside a layout component piece uh, you can actually create your custom error page like currently we are getting 404 error page so you can customize it based on your need okay and mostly what we talked about is next uh, link next okay uh, next router next head these are the some of the modules which we have talked till now if I give you little summary next link which is actually used to create a link then we used next router we used with router use router to access the query parameter okay we used next head this is actually used to put a custom head header I mean custom head tag in your each and every HTML right so custom head will have your all meta tag styles whatever pre-built you wanted to put then you just create a head tag inside your document or inside your layout okay the data fetching is always an interesting part we can actually use uh, uh, react hooks also to validate it and little bit about router navigations I mean there are different events whenever the route change happens route change started route change uh, stopped route change error there we can actually deal with different things we already talked about end progress a module which is which was helping us for uh, loading of different routes we have like next config.js we haven't talked about it but next config also you can write next config uh, contains all the different uh, attributes like environment you can put uh, here next config what we put is uh, some says options right similarly you can put environment options base path so if you talk about next config in documentation then it has a lot of things I'll just talk about the base path it 
can be available in the documentation what all attributes it is having some custom redirects if you want to have then that is also available CDN custom webpack config you wanted to add that can also you do in the next config okay so you can actually write your next config and rest all is about data fetching because data fetching is the something which we do is we can use get static props or get server side props right so if you wanted to have a purely uh, static site rendering where you wanted to get everything during the build time you can actually use get static props get server side props on each and every request this external async call will be made data will be available okay uh, get initial props is also there we will talk about it get initial props is nothing but uh, that allows you to initialize the data population like uh, your page is loading right so your data will appear so get initial props can be used with get server side props when you wanted to actually uh, fetch show the, some data initially and then some call is happening which will actually give you the data so get initial props enable server side rendering in a page and allows you to do initial data population it means sending the page with the data already populated from the server this is actually used for server side optimization so if we talk about a particular example how it works is uh, okay let me just see this okay we can actually use this get initial props on this page it will actually make this content available to this particular page or we can use it as a class based component also so get initial props also takes all the argument in the context path name query request response and all okay so now in the next thing next video we'll talk about uh, routing dynamic route shallow routing i mean from the code we know the link using link tag you can actually navigate from one page to another piece what are the other ways like router dot push router dot uh, fetch or something prefetch or something method is also there using which you can actually do the shallow rendering router dot push is one and rest we will take a look into the documentation